Guys, chapter four is here, and today we're gonna be testing out a ton of all the brand new myths that are now in the game. You can apparently launch yourself super high in the air by doing a double jump on the motorbike and then vaulting. Let's see. Oh my God, dude, that was nuts. And I'm still alive. Thank you, Hammer. All right, wait, let's try that again. Oh my God, you could do it like every time. Whoa. Wait, one more, one more. Okay, yep, that's uh, definitely myth confirmed. All right, our next myth. Can you double pump with the Excalibur rifle? Let's find out. So the normal fire rate is about that quickly. What if we change between the two? Oh my God, you totally can. Holy crap, that's ridiculous, dude. Wait, one more, bro, just chill for a second. I'm gonna show something off. Look at this. Oh, that speed is nuts. Look at this. Slight delay when you change back, but that fire rate is unreal. That is myth confirmed. Fly out over the edge of the map and reach these outer islands. We've just jumped out of the bus. We are at max max height right now. The other funny thing is you can't even actually see Spawn Island anymore. It's actually too far away from the main island. Oh, I think we've hit an invisible wall. Okay, we've definitely hit an invisible wall. I can't go forward anymore. You cannot get any closer than this. That is a myth busted. Okay, is it possible to ride the loot drones now that they're back? Come on. Yes. Holy crap, we can do it. Yo, you ever want to take someone from surprise by shooting him from up here? Honestly, that's pretty good strategy. Myth confirmed. Okay, now every new POI has these capture points, which you can obviously capture from down on the ground. But can you capture them from max height? All right, we've made it to max height. Let's see. When we stand directly over it, is it going to capture? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. All right. Definitely myth busted. You cannot capture these from max height. Every chapter, we want to try and ride llamas. We've got brand new motorbikes in the game that kind of look like llamas. So let's see if they finally added it this chapter. Get back here, boy. Get back here. Can we, can we ride him? Wait, what if I what if I knock him out and then jump on? No, come on. Fortnite, please. Just one chapter. Let us do it. No. All right. You know what? You can live. Be free. That's myth busted. All right, our next myth. According to Twitter, apparently random NPCs now rift into the map and hand out loot. Here, we finally found one. Look at this. Brand new NPCs. Oi, my bike! Brand new NPCs now randomly rift into the map. And they give you ice cream. Hell yes. Wait, will he just give me like unlimited? Oh my God, look, they come in with coolers. Bro, is he just gonna keep throwing? Surely there's a limit. All right, I've, uh, I've been here for a minute now and this guy is still throwing ice cream on the ground. So uh, not only is it true that random NPCs now rift into the map, they apparently just give you unlimited loot. Myth confirmed. Thanks, bro. All right, next myth. You can't build inside the capture zones. No, nope. all right. You definitely still can. It's a good way to protect yourself. All right, next myth. Shockwave hammers all have independent cooldowns, meaning if you get enough of them, you can jump forever. Let's give this a go. All right, here we go. Shockwave hammer number one. We're flying. We're chilling. And now we change to number two. Oh my God, it is absolutely confirmed. Wait, if I keep doing this, will it... Will the old ones have reset by the time the new one comes back? I can literally jump forever. This is nuts. Yo, Epic. Do not remove this from the game. And then I can change the next one and then back. I'm literally flying permanently. You can literally have unlimited cooldowns on your hammer. 
That is so cool. This is definitely uh, myth confirmed. 10 out of 10. Five shockwave hammers is the new meta. All right, next myth. You can find the body of the Herald in the brand new chapter four map. And the answer, the answer is yes. There she is. Frozen into a tree. Turns out turning everything to chrome didn't go quite as she expected. Oh my God, and you can even harvest her. That's cruel, man. All right, our next myth is if you sky base in the snow biome, when it gets to the final zone, no one's able to see you. I saw someone tweet a video at me of them doing this. And I don't know if the weather is just something that can occasionally happen here or if it always happens towards the final zone. So we're going to find out. All right, I'm at max height. I still feel pretty visible right now. We're going to wait and see what happens. Yep, all right, I can't lie. We're in the final zone over the snow biome and I'm I'm still feeling pretty visible. Let's let's go down and just look up, but I think this is looking like a bit of a myth busted. In fact, this is definitely definitely a myth busted. I've never been more disappointed in my life. All right, next myth. Everyone knows when you do the shockwave attack, you obviously don't take fall damage. But what about if you do just a regular attack? Does that still protect you from any height? Yeah! All right, myth confirmed. All right, is it possible to totally choose the direction that you launch shockwave stones in? So we're going to start hitting it. You can see it charges up. But then you can see that giant angle that we can change depending on where we want it to go. So if I wanted to launch it right into that building there, I can do exactly that. I will miss because I'm a butt, but I can choose that direction. Myth confirmed. All right, next myth. Can you ride the shockwave stones and use them to get into zone? I'm going to try and get in a good position here. All right, so step number one, we charge it up. Step number two, we pick the direction to be as hard that way as we can. And we mantle it. And... Yo! You totally can! Okay, wait. What if I aim one further up in the air? All right, here we go. Do not get in the way, you loot drone. And another one, bro! Okay, wait, I wanna try doing one like as vertical as I can. And here we go. Dude, look at that! You can literally rotate with shockwave stones. That's so cool. Like, I think I left my bike over there. Not to worry, the clips. The clips people are gonna get with this are insane. That is myth confirmed. Wait, you could just keep rotating into the zone, right? Like if I wanna, if I wanna just rotate into zone, I can carry this rock with me. I can literally keep reusing it. That's nuts. Yo, this is like, this isn't, this isn't even 500 IQ. This is 5,000 IQ. This is new meta rotation strategy in chapter four. Bro, this is my new favorite thing I've found so far. All right, next test. Has fall damage been reduced this chapter? So it used to be four blocks and a jump would trigger fall damage. So let's see. No. All damage hasn't been reduced. I'm just dumb. All right, next myth. You can use the jellyfish floating around the map to heal yourself when you run into them. Oh my God, instant 20 HP as well as a launch. All right, next myth. You can apparently use jellyfish to launch yourself like a shockwave grenade. And that is myth confirmed. All right, next myth. Hiding in bushes with the regeneration perk is now the fastest way to heal. Let's see. Oh, yo, look at that. All right, it's not quite as quick as some other methods, but considering that's totally free meds, that's pretty ridiculous. And it gets you all the way up to 150. Okay, so myth busted. It's still pretty cool. All right, next myth. The amount of stone resources you get from destroying rocks has been seriously nerfed this chapter. Here we go. We got a rock right here. And there you go, only 28. And I'll be honest, I've tested this on a bunch of different rocks. It's the same for all of them, no matter what size. Every rock this chapter gives you way less than it used to. Myth confirmed. All right, can you damage enemies by shooting down a jellyfish near them? The answer is no. Myth busted. All right, next myth. If you jump before swinging a hammer, it will deal more damage. So normal damage is 75. Okay, now what if I jump beforehand? No? 
It's all 75. All right, now what if we land on an enemy after doing the giant shockwave jump? And... No, still 75. All right, last hammer test. What if we jump from somewhere really high? Can we get the damage up more? And... 125! All right! So myth confirmed. If you jump off somewhere super high, you can actually boost the damage. All right, next myth. We've got brand new visuals for fire. Let's try it. How's it gonna look? Oh, dude. That is insane. All right, Fortnite got a visual upgrade in literally everything. That looks genuinely terrifying. I don't want to really kind of be in here right now. Holy crap. And the way the wood just shatters. That is that is definitely myth confirmed. Holy crap. All right, next myth. Can the motorbike stop fall damage from any height? Let's find out. All right, we're almost at the top. This is a max height fall on the motorbike. And we're just going to YOLO jump it. Yeet! All right. This is the ultimate test of fall damage. Are we going to land it? Yes, we are. No fall damage on the motorbike. That is some good sky-based knowledge. Myth confirmed.